Well, it's about 15 degrees, minus 15 degrees out. This January, it seems like the weather's just been hovering between minus 10, minus 20. And with the weather being so cold, we spent the prior day preparing to go to the cabin. We gathered supplies, a battery jump kit for a battery boost, small generator, battery charger, white gas, single burner, stove, and below zero clothes, jumper cables, and we even packed uh, food for a week. Thought long and hard on what else to bring, and we were ready for anything. Wrong. Something unexpected always happens. Be prepared. <laughs> We're heading north and you can see the blue skies. Just amazing out there. The kind of morning you like sipping your coffee and just enjoy the view. But we're reflecting back, lots of time to think, and hopefully we have everything we need. It's about a three hour drive up in the winter, maybe two and a half in the summer. Coffee break somewhere in between there. But uh, we're leaving fairly, I don't know, it's about 1 o'clock in the afternoon now. And we're hoping we'll get up there before dark 30. And uh, we just, uh, and you can't emphasize in this cold weather, like 15, 20 below, of having enough gear. And uh, it's, I got battery charged. Like I said, I got a lot of stuff along. I'm not going to be hurting. I'm just hoping I don't have to use any of it. Better to be prepared than not to. But uh, as, as this goes on, you'll see, uh, I get there almost at sunset, and there's time I unpack from the truck and pack everything into the ATV. Um, it's probably another half hour into the cabin if you're after it, and then obviously you got to unpack again. So there's another 15, 20, you know, there's 20 minutes uh, before you travel and 20 minutes after probably unpacking all the stuff. So we'll see. Well, made it in. Left town, it was about 15 below. I think it's a little bit warmer up here. But there's a good 5, 10 mile an hour breeze, so it feels colder. But propane wouldn't, uh, kind of leak at the bottle bypass is open so when you open it up it's just going right to air too cold valve stuck other bottles froze to the ground tonight i have to work on getting that thought out tomorrow and get it out what else oh the generator for the battery bank cranks and cranks but she won't fire so that's tomorrow job also without the propane heat first got here i don't know if you can even see it over there had a little Coleman stove. That was a double burner. Had that going. That warmed it up a little bit, not enough. Luckily, we got this kerosene heater here, and uh, that's a lifesaver. That's a that's a must. So I think I got three gallons. There's probably two in there, and I think I got almost three. So it burns the fuel pretty fast, but it'll last me a night or tomorrow and if not i guess i'll be out of here but that uh that little single can candle there that uh, single candle goes in there and heats up an element inside and once it gets warm that heat transfers to led light so it wasn't cheap it's more of a novelty item picked up at a fire fireplace store and uh boy it's a lifesaver tonight and it just uses a little tea tea candles got a bag of about a hundred of them there so it's not much light but it's enough the camera probably doesn't do justice but it is what it is i don't know if you can see my breath or not it's still cold it's about 25 so 
from zero we're a good 25 degrees you can see how cold it <laughs> just sitting in here from the truck to the cabin until we start getting heat <clears throat> kind of slushy but uh, got a carbon monoxide detector so i'm gonna bundle up and wool wool down a blanket and sub-zero bag and we're gonna call it a night hopefully i wake up too hot It was a long night at uh, showing that thermometer about 40 above it was about six seven hours later is about one in the morning and i think i fell asleep from one to three i got a couple hours sleep and then was up to about five it doesn't get light till about eight or nine so it was a long night but we made it um wasn't that bad i mean it looks bad but it wasn't as bad as it could have been we definitely had the right clothes along. I was uh, wearing down clothes, down jackets, had two of them, and the bag. We keep a couple down blankets, so it definitely could have been a lot worse. The heat in that uh, tall roof, we got a tall roof, so all the heat goes up top without a fan to circulate it around. It definitely uh, would make a big difference, but just, you know, it was 15 below, and, you know, having 40, that's 55 degrees warmer. So 40 is not bad. I mean, that's a fall camping hunt weather and a sleeping bag in a tent. So it uh, and it definitely got warmer by morning. It was almost 60 in there. And you got to figure that cabin. It, once a cabin gets warm, it, it stays warm fairly easy. Just the same as, you know, when it's cold, it'll <laughs> it stays cold for a long time. That uh, difference there. So. Had a lot of problems, you know, as I described, but the next morning I didn't get any footage. I was so busy. Uh, daylight's very limited and I was able to get the batteries generator started batteries charged up to 100% they were fine um, even got the, the propane working again temporarily it wasn't flowing correctly it was uh, the, it was almost like the regulator was uh, allowing too much fuel through but we made the decision to get out of there and uh, it's now I'm editing this it's about a week later and it's about 40 above so time has changed did a rod and for Rondi's around the corner and usually that time of the year we we start heading to spring so we should be seeing teens and some warmer weather here but always be prepared